What are you doing, okay? It's all right. I don't care. Hawk! Hey. <laughs> what? Someone having problems imitating her voice? Is that the bungalow heads I can hear? Say hip hip hello to Amber, who's aged 11 and from beautiful seaside Portsmouth. Hello! She loves her family and maniacs. <laughs> And she's had three poems published in a book, one of which was called I'm Bored, I'm Bored, I'm Bored. Let's hear it, Amber. I'm bored, bored, I'm bored. Wow, that was great. 98. Leah is also from Portsmouth and has reached the age of 12. Morning. She loves pets and is very generous. In fact, when she was little, she once took her nappy off at the supermarket and presented it to the checkout assistant. Well, guess what, Leah? We've tracked down that assistant and she's brought it back. Nappy now! 97. 97. Christopher is from Portsmouth too, and he's also 11. Hello. He's very sarcastic. Oh, yeah, I'm really sarcastic. He wants to meet Horatio Nelson. Well, we found him. He's been dead for 200 years, so he's looking a bit the worse for wear, but here he is. Kiss me, Christopher. Hello, I'm a skelly wobbles. Kiss me. 96. This is Emily. She's 12 and from Portsmouth, too. Hello! She likes to pick her nose and eat it. Well, don't let us stop you. Pick her nose, Amelie. Now eat it. <laughs> Yum! She, Emily. She cannibal. Also from Pompey, here's Gemma, who's 12. Morning. Gemma is a complete ball magnet. If ever there's a stray ball, Gemma will get hit by it. Watch out, Gemma. <laughs> Ooh, bells! But there's no time for that now. Come into the magical world of the bungalow. At 95, 95, Morning bungalow! Still going nuts. Oh. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. We're missing one. Here it is. The celebrity. It's here. Here it is. is now, it... you wrote in in your fives and asked for Hilary Duff. So we got you, Charlie Higson. Yeah. This is Charlie, age 47, from London. Morning. He's famous for writing children's books like the Young James Bond series. <laughs> and being a top comedian in hit TV shows like The Far Show. Well, let's see just how fast he is. Come on, Charlie Hickson. Run faster, man. Come on, Charlie Hickson. Go, man, go. Go, go, go. Oh, that'll do. Come on, join the rest of the bungalow heads. Here he comes! Here he comes! Welcome. <laughs> Look at that. It's Charlie and Charlie's Angels. Charlie, you've dressed up the occasion. Thank you, sir. Look at it. Look at it. Look at that. Look at his James Bond. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Young James Bond. <laughs> welcome. Ooh. Take your coat off. And make yourself welcome to the bungalow. Hello, bungalow heads. Morning, morning, morning. Say hello to them. That they've woken up to see you. Hello. 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 Bungalow heads. Let's get to the serious bit. <laughs> which is which is the crocodile, isn't it? What? Is, that, is that the serious bit? The crocodile? That could be the serious bit. Well, let's see how if serious like it really is. See how serious that is. How serious is that crocodile? Mm. Look at that. <laughs> Not serious at all. <laughs> you write that into the next book, eh? The and James Bond got a sicked on by a big crocodile. The face. <laughs> the face. 
You said it, didn't it, really? Right, and now another yes, session. Yes. But you wouldn't do this to J.K. Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, we probably would. Invite her on, we'll uh, give it a go. <laughs> JK. Now then, Bungler Heads, the other serious bit. <laughs> it's quite fun, really. You're here to win bungalow points. Thank you. What do bungalow points mean? Chris? You can win. You can win what? Prizes! Prizes, mm. yes! Third prize is a cheap Cups. skate. It's a cheap skate, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. <laughs> That's very clever. <laughs> Whoa, Amber's excited about that. Show us your... Is that the best thing? Show no. us your glee for a cheap skate. It's not that funny. Oh. Glee? Well, it's not supposed to be funny. It's a good prize. It's not a good prize. Oh, it's not oh it's producer not thought of that gag. <laughs> What's, what's in second prize? What's in second place? No, what's in second, second prize? In second prize, yeah. we get this, which is a stereo. Uh, we've given away all the really good stuff at the beginning of the series. So we've got, we've got an 80s stereo with loads of CDs. Now, Woo! Amber, do your seal impression again, because you'll like the first prize. Come on. <laughs> she doesn't know what do you're it. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> This week's Royal Bungalow Head takes home a games console, an urban dance game, a dance mat, a karaoke headset, and an incredible LCD TV to mount on their wall. It's the biggest dancing, prancing, singing, swinging, playing gaming experience you'll have this side of 2011. And yes, that is Judy Dench. What kind of seal? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What kind of seal impression is that? It's a polite one in a suit. It's just, you know, it's just like, hey, oh. it's a posh seal. It's a, the seal of approval. <laughs> like your first task... Thank you. Thank you. Your first task for the morning, going to heads. Mm. In your quest for points. Why do we always say things at the same time? It's amazing. <laughs> How do we do that? The big we, just, we just think along the same lines, don't we? We always... <laughs> because we're a double act, you see, we always finish each other's sandwiches. Yeah. We also just repeat what they say yeah, here. Yeah, right. The Dick and Dom Sheree! Ta da! He's back. You're yeah, you're going to think of a new one. word for the Dick and Dom Sheree. Tell us the meaning. Six Whatever you do, seven. do not be Rudy. No Rudy. No Rudy. Now, no we're Rudy. not doing the energy walk this week. Why not? This is something we haven't done for a while. Yes, that's it. Stick it out. <laughs> mm. Ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we're bringing them all back. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a while. Got God gone in six weeks, so uh, we have to fit them all in. Stop saying that. Stop saying oh. what? Gone in six weeks? Oh. Never again. I don't think you've got your head right there, have you? He's been weightlifting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working, mate. <sighs> what? You're not training, are you? You're training. <gasps> Oh, yes. Why are you in training? Why, why, why am I training? training? Well, you see, I've got to be strong, cos I've got all my family coming later. All right. Oh, well, yes. Why have you got to be strong to have all your family around? Because I've got to pick them up at five past nine. OK. Uh. Right. OK, so it's five past nine, so you're going to go and pick them up? I am going to go and pick them up. Right, I believe they're, they're arriving somewhere. Where, where, where oh, are they? Oh, 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 that's... Really? that's, oh, that's oh, no. Come off. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Well, well, uh, look, she's got herself in a little bit of a flat. Wait, 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 she's got a line. Sorry, uh, love. Will you get yeah, your line out? thanks, up? love. I was wondering, I'm that busy. I'm only in a flat. I don't know what to do. Hang on. I'm stuck. You are. <gasps> you, you're weak. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Always my cousin. Oh, He's back. He's back from the windies. I've been feeling a little bit down. <laughs> so I needed a little bit of a lift. <laughs> oh. Next. We're going to make him kiss the crook in a bit. Where are they? Oh, I don't oh, know. There. I think. Not down there. Oh, maybe. No. I don't know. Put it in there, Dom. What? No, there's not. No, there. no. Where he was. He? Well, he was learning a bit of. Uh, oh, here he is. Over there. Oh, oh, there. oh yeah. well. I just learned tap dancing. I've just got to learn me tap dance. <laughs> I tell you what, the best thing to do is to get all to get all of you to kiss the croc in a minute. Okay? Do you think that's a good so idea? So we'll get you all together. Uh, wait, hang on a minute. After this week, we've only got five more of these left. Oh. We, we want better than that. Oh, yes, five, so right? do I, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm sure you do. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You just keep weightlifting, you'll be fine. Right, OK, so what's going on, Dom? 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 Oh. Yep, he's gone. What? No, I'm just trying to it. chase your family. So I need to round them all up so you can all kiss the croc in oh, a bit. Oh, well, there's two of them here. Anyway, in the meantime, let's have a look at the prizes. What have you got for the prizes? It's a Kaluki playing oh, Armadillo. Is. Yes, oh. Melvin O'Doom's Gurn Baby Game. Calling for that. No, 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 last time you'll ever get a chance to see it. Yes, 9 for 500 aspiration target. It's a remote control thing. And to email and text, you get five of these. What are they? Angry Jacket Potatoes. Angry Jacket Potatoes. Oh. We'll be giving them all away today. One for each email six, and text. Six, six, two, double two, DD. And then your message. Bungo. And the email subject is. The email subject is anything to do with potatoes. Everything to do with potatoes. 
Find the web at bbc.co.uk. Now then, uh, prize family, if you'd all like to kiss the crocodile, get all come together, and you. Come oh. on. You've got to lead them all. All together now, very quickly, you'll yeah, get towards the crocodile. Charlie's yeah. moving out of the way. And they're all bundle of heads. All the rest of you, go on, go on, go on, go on. No! Oh. 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 Yeah. Go on, you idiot. Oh. Go on, all of you together. Oh. 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 Right, OK, we'll have you first, Emily, since you're here. What is your word? Sprogs. Sprogs. What are sprogs? It's meaning weird people. Weird people? In what way? Um, like, Out they do way. stupid Out. things. Stupid things like what? Um, like... Rub their heads and tap their stomachs. Rub their heads on what? Uh, rub their heads and tap their stomachs. There we are. Rub their heads and tap their stomachs. That's a sprog. How many... Any points for that, Dom? Sprogs? Yes. Uh, uh, 86. 86. Amber! What is your word? Let's have a look at it. Nickelbocker, tickelbocker, frickelbocker, poo. What? Nickelbocker, hickelbocker, frickelbocker, poo? Yes. What is it? Oh, what is that? Dick and Dom. What? <laughs> we we are nickelbocker, frickelbocker, 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 poo. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Fine. Soon, in six weeks, it'll be the end of nickelbocker, frickelbocker, hickelbocker, poo. Right, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to give you 71 of the points. Thanks. Good morning, Gemma. What is your word? Giggly, jum, jum, no, no. <laughs> Giggly, gum gum, no no. Yep. What is it? It's laughing gas. Laughing gas. Laughing gas. Laughing gas. <laughs> Giggly gum gum. <laughs> it worked. Uh, that? Well done. Uh, Fifty-two bungalow points. <laughs> Leah. Oh, <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. That's my point of being here. Yes. Okay. You join in with things. Sorry oh. to disappoint. What did you say, Leah? Dick and Dom in the boogaloo. <laughs> what is a boogaloo? What's boogaloo? Where you go to toilet. <laughs> You go so, toilet? Well, you two go toilet. When we two go toilet? We two go toilet. We go toilet. We need to go We need to go toilet. We need to go We need to go toilet. We go boogaloo. How juvenile? Any points for boogaloo? Yes, 28. 28. Christopher. Mohican man. What's your word? Shabalabaloo. Shabalabaloo. Oh, we've had that before. We've had that before. We've had Stop, do you, do you, stop, stop. Do you watch the bungalow we've every week? We've had Shabalabaloo no. before. You don't watch it every week? No. Why not? <laughs> don't know. Shabalabaloo. You don't watch it every week? No. We've had that before. <laughs> <laughs> sit. Get out and no, sit hold down. On, hold on. <laughs> what? He's not happy. Well, I'm not. He doesn't watch our show every week. What do you think of that? <laughs> they watch it every week, don't you? Shabalabaloo. They right. watch it. Right, whilst we ask Charlie his word, you're going to write a new word down. If it's good, we'll give you points. Sit down, right. <laughs> All right. All right. Dom's gone a bit muddy. No, muddy. no, there's a good reason. He's muddy. Dom's gone a bit muddy. Muddy, waddy, Dom. And I'm sorry, sweaty as well. Sorry about this, Charlie. Shut. Come on over. Uh, can I just say, Sorry I watch you. your show every week. No! Oh, yeah, we like it. <laughs> Charlie Hicks. Thanks for sucking up to our 60 Mungo points yeah, just man. before you don't know anything. Oh, we love you. Uh, what about what him? Have you, what have you got? <laughs> yes, uh, it's uh, Bob Snarvy. Bob Snarvy? <laughs> yes. What's, what's Bob Snarvy? I would have thought it was fairly obvious. <laughs> it's uh, stupid. We have to it's, have uh, it's a Bob Sleigh, but with a Snarvy instead of a Sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. What's a Snarvy? I was hoping you you might know that. I think he Snarvy. Snarvy? Snarvy. 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 I was hoping you'd know. <laughs> All right. All right, it's, it's a giant forehead. <laughs> What's a Snarvy, Amber? I don't know. I don't know what you're Right, about. email subject. Does this mean Six I don't get any two. points? What's a Snarvy? <laughs> but we like it, though. Yeah, any points? Awesome. 97. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Chris has written a new word. No shabalabaloo, Lou, because we've had it before. Your word is... Snuggles. Yeah. Snuggles. Yeah. No, it sounds better. Um, snuggles. What, what is what snuggles? Is snuggles. It's chewing gum. That does what? <laughs> it blows really big and then you can sit in it and like float around. Super. And then what? And then what? <laughs> I don't and know. Where? You don't know. But that's good enough. Well done. 41 bungalow points. 41. So who was the winner? Who got the most points, Dom? Charlie. Oh. Charlie. Come Charlie. Charlie. Right, come here. Come here. Come here. Charlie, that means. That means. Don't forget, if, if Charlie wins today, if he wins the bungalow, he'll give all the prizes to you guys at home. Oh. Hey, not, not to all of you guys at home, just to one of you. Your word, shut up. Your word is going into the Dick and Rob Street. Stick it in and let's hear your word in action. Here we go. Bob Snarvy, a bobsleigh but with a snarvy <laughs> instead of a sleigh. As in, it was announced this week that the London Planetarium will be closing. It will be replaced with a series of Bob Snarvies. <laughs> there you are. Very good. There you are. Well done, indeed. Congratulations. Bravo. Well, I think it's going to be a bit of a rim tickler today. I think it may be. Shall we have a look what's on it? Oh, God. Here's what's on it. Pop snarvy. Still 11. 
on BBC Two with the translation game. A Geordie today, I think it is. A Geordie, why are you? All right, yeah, we've also got Zombie Hotel. Yeah, there we go. It's the thing that you all love. It's full of freaks, just like this place. Charming. DC Harry Bat. He's back. Another Geordie. They are Geordie Tussic today. And uh, there we go. We've got a classic bogeys. Where's it from? Which one was it? How long ago was it? Well, we thinner, probably. Creamy Muck Muck Grand Finale. It's Bulls Muck. Well, it's, no, creamy milk, because it's actually bulls milk. I'm not saying it's rubbish. It, 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 bulls milk. Let's play our first game. Cream mash, dinner ladies, chucky food like naughty babies, beets, peas, and sloppy mash. See how much you can catch, then put it in your tum-tum. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hey, yum, yum. Here we are. Have a look at that. Have a look at this. And have a look at that. Isn't that disgusting? No, yes. here, Dom. Yes. No dinner ladies, no French waiters this morning, no French chefs, none of that. This morning, please welcome three Jamie Olivers. Mixing up flavours, mucking about, having it for my tea. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, oh, he looks a bit like Jamie. You and you. I tell you what, they don't understand what, they don't understand what you're saying. You need to speak in Jamie language. Oh, I, like, look, you know what I mean? You look a bit like him, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't, you know what I mean? Yeah? Right then, here are the rules of the game. You have to flick some of this. Is that what you say? Uh, flick some of that muck over there. Charlie and his angels will be catching it. The one who catches the most amount in 45 seconds will be the proud owner of. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, 150. Oh, were you doing the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're doing yeah, 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 yeah. Party boy. Uh, all right, and then after that time. You'll be given five seconds each to earn some bonus points, right? Ooh. You have to get a spoonful of your slop and hold it in your mouth. For each spoonful that you put in your mouth and hold there, you will get five points. Right, then, at the end of that time, if you swallow all that slop in your mouth, you will get an extra 20 points. The rules are very simple. Are you ready to serve up your slop? School dinners are better, aren't they? They're the best. 45 seconds, go now! Seconds. Here we go! If that Jamie Oliver on the end was absolutely useless, it was all landing down there. I didn't is, have a I chance. I saw Charlie do something. Now, you may have thought I didn't notice, but he was there, and as he saw the uh, food getting put towards that, he moved Gemma into his position and stepped to the side. <laughs> Charlie, you naughty man! Yeah, she wanted more points. Oh, did you? Oh, very, that's very sweet. In that case, that's lovely of you. Let's see how Amber got on. You did quite well, Amber. You got a bit in there, a bit of, a bit of brekkie, didn't you? You're looking forward to eating it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, let's just see who got the most in their bowl. I think it's going to be... Gemma, 150 point left points for Gemma. Well, oh, can you get Gemma. five extra for each mouthful you eat? Time starts now. Five seconds. Eat five it, points. Eat Ten eat points. It, Fifteen it, points. Uh, Twenty it, points. It, Twenty-five it, points. That's thirty uh, points you got there for an extra twenty to make fifty. Will you swallow it? Go. <laughs> get fifty <laughs> points. You got thirty. Do you want fifty? Swallow it. Get it down your neck. No, you don't need to. Uh, uh, she didn't swallow it. Oh, yeah. She spat it. <laughs> Amber, you got 30 points. Leah, can you do better? Five okay. seconds down now. Go. Five points. Oh, Ten yeah. points. Fifteen points. Twenty points. points. Twenty-five uh, points. Thirty points. Thirty points. Yeah. For an extra twenty, you'll get fifty. Can you eat it? Go. Banana cup of top. Is what? Have a banana. <laughs> have a banana. Yeah, have you done it? <laughs> you swallow it. She's just, 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 just chewing. Yeah! 50 yeah. points yeah. to Leah! Chris, your five seconds starts now. Go! Five points, ten points, fifteen points, twenty points, twenty-five points, thirty points, thirty-five to Chris. You want fifty-five to Look. Oh, Chris. Go on. Go on. Wait, wait. It's all your face and your Mohican. <laughs> It's gone! Yeah. Points to Chris, Emily, your time starts now. Five points, ten points, fifteen points, twenty points, twenty-five points, twenty-five points. Oh, oh, oh. Do you want forty-five points? You can have them if you swallow it. Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's deciding what to do. 
It's in and out. It's touching the tonsils. It's yeah! 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 45 to Emily. Gemma, your time starts now. Five points. Ten points. Fifteen points. Twenty points. Twenty-five points to Gemma. Oh, it's gone already. But she did get 25 points for putting that in her mouth, but it's all come out. So 25 to Gemma. Chris. Chris? Who's Chris? I know it's Charlie. I'm just saying Chris. Hey, <laughs> stop throwing that about. Yeah, that's it. Right. It's well all right, and Charlie. Charlie. Call me Bungle Chris. Heads. <laughs> what? I said bungalow heads decorum a minute. Now, Charlie can't have no breakfast, can he? You, uh... Put that there. Oh, follow Dom. The waiter is here. Uh, Jamie's. He's get, he's I'm just wondering if we but, could uh, fill, it, fill this up with some. Cos Charlie seems to have none, and he said to me earlier that he really wants an extra lot. Thank you, that's it. That's Bring it over like a waiter, oh, like a oh, waiter. Thank you very much. Oh, be, a, be a proper waiter. Be a proper waiter. Hey, walk back. Here's the waiter. Here's the waiter. No, 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 I was told it was BBC Two. I thought it was Look that cookery that. program with Anthony Warrell Thompson. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's now on BBC One, mate. Not we've, water. we've, we've been got... shifted over. Right, so can you eat some of that for uh, five points a mouthful? Your five second starts now, go! Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Five points. Any more? That was good. <laughs> oh, we'll give you ten, right? You've got ten points. Can you swallow it? Mmm. Oh. That's very good. It's just one crazy point! You've had your brekkie! He enjoyed it as well! That's good. Right, uh, then. yum, yum. That's it. Shall we check on the scores? Why not? Let's I'm check on the scores. Let's see what the scores are for the bungalow heads. Play the keyboard. And, uh, They've already had one of the points, and Amber's got 101. Leah's got 78. Chris with 96. There's Emily with 131. Gemma with 246. And Charlie with 187. In the lead at the moment is Gemma with 246. Go on, Gemma. Oh. Sorry, I've just I've just dropped it in the muck. Sorry, oh. that's that's the T-shirt that you, you can. You want to win a mucky T-shirt? You can do. There. If you spot the secret word. Look, 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 we'll sign your name on that, and then we'll sign our names on that, and even Charlie will sign, and they'll sign. We'll all sign. Email it. or text when you see that secret word with your details. You could win that signed by us. Tootie time. Time for crypto, the super dog. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll see you on the bungalow in a bit <laughs> after the cartoon. <laughs> We love Crypto the Super Dog, gentlemen. Uh, isn't it good, Andy? Yes. Don't we Come love on. Crypto? The secret... Yeah. Yes, right. Yeah. The Bungalow yeah. Heads are here yeah. and Charlie yeah. Higson. The secret word was clever. And Alice Chandler Whoa. from Cannon Coventry, you get Whoa. the T-shirt. There it is. Don will sign it as well. Now, Melvin O'Doom is back. It's Saturday. He's on your TV. <laughs> Melvin O'Doom's Gurn, baby, Gurn. Gurn, baby, Gurn. <laughs> How many people will join Mel for a good Gurn? in the public place. Who's on line one? It's Harry from Truro. Harry from Truro. Showbiz. Showbiz Are Harry. You showbiz Harry. Is it Showbiz Harry? Yeah, it's Harry. Yeah, no, no, is no, it no. Showbiz Harry? Harry? You're in a delightful mood this morning, Harry. You're a cheerful man. Well, he was. Yes. Well, he was until he spoke to you. He's now marred. Be cheerful again, Harry. Hello. Hello. Oh, we've ruined it. We've, we've lost you, haven't we? <laughs> Harry, how many people are going to gun, baby? <laughs> Yeah. Pull that. Gurn, what? baby, gurn. I reckon five. Pull that. Oh, you like that? You got him back. We got him back. Harry, Harry, listen again. Pull that. Pull that. Keep pulling. Pull that. 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 Look at you all. Oh, look, the wall, the wall has got me a new one. There you are, wall. Thank you very much. There we are. Right, so, Harry, where are we? How many people are going to Gurn, baby Gurn? Five. You say five. I'll put five. Four. You are there. What? Who's that? Four. 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 Your turn. What? Your turn. What? Four. What? <laughs> oh, I say. Pinky's out, everyone. It's a double barrel We've name. We've not had one of those for a while, have we? Hello, it's Jade Wilson Bell. Hello, Jade. Hello. Or shall we call you Pink Miss Wilson Pinky's Bell? Pinky's out, bungler heads. Pinky's out. Shall we call oh, you Lady Wilson Bell? I don't mind. Well, madam, what can we do for you today? Would you care for tea? You like cucumber sandwiches? No. Or would you just care for us to shut up? Crab, crab sticks, if you throw us against the wall. Would you like us to get on with it? I don't mind. She doesn't, she doesn't oh, mind. We can do this until the end of the show. If you like. Probably not. Right. Jade? Ha Jade, how many? 
will Seven. join Melvin O'Doom for a gun, baby. How many? Seven. Seven? seven. Gotcha. She says seven. She says seven. Cheers, okay, love. There you are. What? Right, Harry's my team with five. Dom's with Jade, seven. Bungalow heads, you back the right team. You'll get 80 bungalow points. Choose your team now. Choosey, choosey. Oh. No. The showpiece. The showpiece. Oh. Oh, 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 oh that's got to hurt. Oh. Don't waft your skirt up. <laughs> Show what off. What are we going to do with that? You've right, you've got your teams. teams. Go and close them and open them, Chris. Go on. And you'll see Melvin O'Doom appears. If magic. That's it, well done. Oh. <laughs> That's well. right, we're going to add you in as well, so that means I think how many what it's gone back to zero. How many was it? Have you said have you, oh, that's the timer? Uh, yeah. Well, that's the timer, you Let's idiot. count one, two, three, that four, five, no six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fifteen. So who and, is... and, and uh, have you seen at the bottom there? Who? Jeffrey Archer's joined him for a good baby oh, good. There we are, look. Just below Melvin. Jeffrey right. Archer. Fifteen. I why he's doing these so things. that means Harry! No, he doesn't. It means Yay! No, it's Harry! Saying his name. You lost. You oh. lost. You lost. You can do it now. What? You lost. My God. Jade. Yeah. Scrimshaw Wright. Yeah. Wilson Bell. Yeah. Wilson, Wilson Bell. You won, dear. <laughs> and that means Charlie, Charlie, Amber, and Gemma, they all get 80 points each. <laughs> And Emily, Leah wow. and Chris, and I think we've got to see that gurning again as we hear what you've won. Diddly squint, diddly, or diddly. Oh, he's had enough. No, he's had enough. <laughs> <laughs> he's like that. Yeah. <laughs> lost, lost the momentum after a while. And Harry, Harry, <laughs> you lost as well. Keep on scoreboard, keep on scoreboard. Keep on scoreboard. Alex, no one's balls, no one's balls. Keep on scoreboard. You're very good at that this morning, darling. Yes, yes, yes. Amber's got 181, Leah with 78, Chris with 96, Emily with 131, Gemma with 326, and Charlie with 267. Gemma's in the lead still. 326 points, Gemma. You've got to catch her. You've got to try and catch her. Good, good, yes. You've got to try and beat her, haven't you? Because she's winning. Hello, it's me, Chantel. Before you ask, I do love Preston. You can go to the markets, Ribblesteam Railway Museum, the Mega Bowl, and the National Football Museum. It's lovely. What are you doing, okay? Sir, I don't care. Why is she Mexican? Why is she Mexican? I'll tell you what we need. <laughs> we need a translator. Oh! He might be a scouser with a heavy Mersey twang Or maybe she's a Londoner with Cockney running slang No matter what the region, the rules are still the same Use your basic intellect to cut through local dialect The bungalow translation, bungalow translation game You can hear that song on the bungalow album as well, can't you? An extended version, it's really good Right, <laughs> doorbell! Oh, you can do uh, Oh. <laughs> uh, my word. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a shame. Hang on a minute. Just did the. Uh, ready? <laughs> then the. Li no, the second bit. Oh, you can't do. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, come, come on in. Please, please sit Hello. I'm, are you the translator? Are you, which one's the translator? I am. I am. Oh, I'm the translator. Lovely to meet you. Come and stand over here. Thank you. What's, what's your name? Aren't you tall? Aren't you a big man? Very. I'm, James. Not, I'm just a tiny little person. James. James. James, yes. And, and, and who's this? This this is Paul, my uncle Paul. And, and, and where does he come from? From Newcastle. Newcastle oh, upon time. I don't speak, oh, Geordie. From Newcastle. What does he think about Sue Ness? You know? 
What do you think about Sunes? What do you think is going to Sunes like? Crack and move, crack and move. Martin O'Neill should be my next manager, actually. <laughs> <laughs> right he he's he's very, very happy about the Graham Sunes situation. Would like uh, Mr. Martin O'Neill to be our next manager. Does he know Cheryl Tweedy? <laughs> Ask him. You haven't met Cheryl Tweedy, don't you, like? Cheryl Tweedy, hey, she's a cracking young asshole, isn't she? Yes, <laughs> yes, he has met Cheryl Tweedy and had a long-term relationship with her before she was famous. Right, we'll have a three-way chat about this later. Let's get on with the game. All right, uh, basically, our Geordie fellow... What's his name, sorry? Uh, this is this is my uncle Paul. Paul, Paul. Paul is going to say three sentences in his regional dialect. Then you've got to try and work out what he's saying in the Queen's English, all right? And then you've got to write down what you think it means. Right. For every... What? Three. All right. All right. All right. All right. three. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Three. <laughs> What? Queen. And then, like, yes, Queen's English, or whatever. I don't know, just say what. <laughs> just like proper. Stop right? doing Barrymore Stop. impressions and get on with it. All right? Good. Stop it. So, there we go. That's all you have to do. For everyone you get right, you get points. Okay, you how many points? Uh, 50, you po 50 to... points each when you get right, right? right. Could you ask him to say his first sentence, please? Uncle Paul, can you do the first sentence for us, please, like? Please, I'm going to start with an easy one, just to get them ready. He's what? ready? He's, he's going to start with a very easy one, you know, just to start okay. you off. Right, OK, right. Let's, let's have it. First one is, Divin Dunches were Geordies. <laughs> Could you ask him to repeat that again? Because I didn't know what he said. Do it again, mate. I'll do it a little bit slower. Right. Divin Dunches were Geordies. Divin. So what do you think that means in the Queen's English? Write it down. If you're with the Queen... I will give you a few seconds and we'll ask him to If the Queen was again. listening to that sentence, what would she write down <laughs> in her English? Can you, can you ask him to say it just one last time? Do it again, pal. I'll do it really slow for you this time. Are you ready? <laughs> Divind Dunches or Geordies? Hey, yeah. Divind Dunches. Da -da -da -da. Right, that's the first one. What's the next one? The next one. If you could ask him to say the second one, please. Do you another one, pal? I'll do another one. Are you ready? Hoya hammer or what here? No, could, uh, hang on. I think are you speaking, you're speaking another language there. <laughs> is he still going to Geordie? Is oh, that yes, yeah. yes, yes. Oh, he is? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes ask yes. him to repeat it. Ask him to repeat it, please. One more time, pal. One more time. For, for, the, for the wee bands. For the bands. Are you ready? Hoya hammer, awa here. Hey, uh, what does that mean? In the Queen's English. It's, it's a sentence. I know a lot of you have just written one word, but generally I think he's trying to say a sentence. Yeah, it's more like a sentence. Done? <laughs> Write it down, whatever you think it may mean. Hoya 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 hoya. OK, and the last one, please. All right, <laughs> All right and the last one. Oh, sorry, sorry, I just, just can't help off. Good to see what's coming next. Sorry, and the last one, please. Final one, pal. Go on, Mara. Make me fatal one. Giz a cat. What? Hey, what? Giz a, Again. Giz a cat. Giz a cat. Giz a cat. What does that mean in, in the, the Queen's, Queen's English? English. The rich, if you would mind just spending the time with us, we're swaying. Yeah, that's it. Look at him go. There he is. This is why we pay him the big bucks, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> He does, because he does that. You don't get talent like this on every street corner. I'm available in March for this kind of thing, if you want me. Where? In March, end of March, I'm available Where for this. Where will you be doing it? In, in, be in Manchester, on the street corners. <laughs> Probably. There right, are we done? <laughs> OK, we finished. Right, so we need to go back to the, uh, the first... She's crossing out, don't cross it. I'll write it again. Five first five sentence, two. first sentence, Dom, please. Right, first, you ask, ask him to say this first sentence again, then you repeat it. Pal, first sentence, one last time. Please. For the final time, Divent Dunches were Geordies. Right, what does that mean? What does it mean? Uh, translation is, please don't bump into us, we're from Newcastle. Please don't bump into us, we're from Newcastle. Oh, Charlie's still finished. I'll let, I'll let you finish, Charlie. Mm. We'll start off down here with Emily. You put boogies. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say that, did he? Amber. Re re read done? out the original. You really don't want to know what she put first. Go on, read it out. Luckily, she's crossed it out. No, read it. Hey, no, <laughs> we certainly won't. <laughs> we do. I'll read no, it. No, you won't. You don't want to get in trouble. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. <laughs> Mum said. It says, Mum said thong. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say that for? Anyway, cake is yum, you put after that. Yeah. Nah, still wrong. Leah. Oh, well, Leah I'm put sorry. cake. Wrong. Okay! That's just silly. <laughs> Thank you. What are we looking for again? What, what was the choice? Uh, please don't bump into us. We're from Newcastle. So yeah. that, was, that was what you should have put. And Jim put candle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we get any oh, sense nice. out of Charlie? Please don't bump into us. Uh, we're from Newcastle. We're from Newcastle. Oh, and Charlie put, I can hardly wait for the Winter Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> so close. <laughs> Nobody got any points there. Next. Right, so if you could uh, ask him to say the second one again and then if you could translate it for us. Uh, Uncle Paul, number two, please. Hoya hammer over here. Translation is, please pass the hammer to me. Please pass the hammer to me. And Emily put cheese. 
No. Close. Amber put We're green. Oh, you just Leah start put bogey? chocolate. <laughs> Chris put put your hammer away. Oh, Ooh. you got a hammer. We'll, we'll we give should you give him half, half point, Twenty five points. We'll give that. And Gemma put. Come over here. Well, I'm here, but it's wrong. No, no hammer. Charlie. <laughs> I was pretty close again. Stop. My donkey is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't suggest that you do that at home. If you do have a donkey, don't set it on fire. Third one, please. <laughs> Paul, give the third one, man. Right, the last one is Giz a cat. Giz a cat. Right. Got to change it now. Too late. Can I have one of your sweets? Can I have one of your sweets? And Emily put peanuts. Well, edible. They're edible. They're and edible. Amber put blue cat. Oh, you put cat. Leah put cat. Chris put cat. It's cat. And Gemma put give me a cake. There you are. There's one on there. There you are. Have one of them. Well, a cake, sweet, is sweet, sweet a cake. Yeah, well, I think we should give. No, is it, is 20, it just twenty-five points, Gemma? Yeah? She got a cake. Yeah. What was it again? Just tell us again. Uh, Giz a cat is. Can I have one of your sweets? Can I have one of your sweets? Do you need to change it? <sighs> I'd like to change. Do you want to change it? We, we, we can have some banter. We want to change it. He's put. Give me a kite. Or failing that, some confetti, as I'm late for mass. <laughs> <laughs> close, but not close enough. <laughs> so there we are, that was the translation game. <laughs> Thank you very much, get rid of him, let's get on with it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Bye -bye. Yeah. Hey, it's already in, it's already in Zombie Hotel. Do you want to win another signed T-shirt, like Alice did? You can do, look out for the secret word, text or email your details. You're now. watching on BBC Two, digging on the bungalow heads, and Charlie Hinson, there you go. And Sorry. Uh, oh, come on. So, we like a bit of zombie hotel, and it's... Look at this. Dom, uh, uh, Dick and William, Boogie. Uh, <laughs> well, all that, that, that That's that sort of idea. Oh, oh somebody ah. Who could it be? <gasps> what? It is. Deleted. <clears throat> What's your name? She can hear. She's got big... Jay James. Why are you here? I'm a bungalow boffin. What's the game called? Space Race. Huh? You've been at home inventing a brand new game for the show. And now we're going to test it live on the bungalow. Will it be a triumph and beautifully thought through? Or will it be a shambles, a pile of poopy woo? It's time to play... The Space Race. Red Blades. Red Space Red. Race. Yes, and Jay is here and she wrote a letter into the bungalow and she told us all about a game and this is your proud moment because now we're going to play it. What's the rules? What? What's the rules? The winner of this game is the first bungalow head to make it through the airlock in the lounge, closing it behind them. Nice However, enough. everyone is wearing special space boots which are very heavy. Oh. They must avoid being brought to the ground by the alien who is played by Dick. Uh, no, 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 well, no, we changed that. Sorry, we didn't tell you. It's the prize idiot. Prize idiot's in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he got the short straw. <laughs> Such an idiot. He is also wearing heavy space boots. Yes, on. yes, under there, yes. You are allowed to wrestle the alien and try and get away if you are caught. Oh, so he's trying to catch them, right? Okay, yeah. The winner will get 220 bungalow Ooh, points. So, <laughs> just, just to recap, in short, they're all wearing heavy boots. So is yep. the alien. They've got to walk through to the airlock. Don't walk. To catch them. Well, as oh. fast as you can. First person to the airlock gets 220 bungalow points. Brilliant. And we've even got another alien on the xylophone. The game doesn't begin until the xylophone has Bitch. played. What? Over here a minute, dear. That's it. The game doesn't begin until the xylophone has played. Alien? Do you do? <laughs> Not yet! Wait, wait! Wait! Back! Back here. The game has begun. Come on, Alien, get him. Look, Alien, get <laughs> him. Char Charlie can't move in his boots. Charlie well, stop. these boots can't be that heavy, can they? Because look, well, there's our winner already. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a lovely shot. It's a lovely shot of the uh, hallway there. <laughs> and uh, uh, that's, uh, that's that, really. <laughs> so, uh, there we are. So, Jay! <laughs> Jay! Oh, uh, there it is, yeah. The, right, who won? Right. <laughs> Should we just let them just do that? We'll let them do that for a bit, yeah. Carry on. There's Charlie yeah, gone. Uh, He's on the floor being Charlie. eaten by a monster. I think that's Charlie. <laughs> yeah, that's Charlie being eaten by a prize idiot dressed as an alien.
And now he's been the prize of the address is an alien up. So you'll you'll a, be reading about this in his latest James Bond books. And uh, there is Charlie doing <laughs> that. James Bond dressed as a spaceman. That's sort of a big purple monster with a massive and orange tongue. There is the prize. There's the prize of the shorts look just coming out the back there. There we are. So that was lovely. Did you enjoy that, Jay? Yeah. Was it how you envisaged? Yeah. It was yes, it was a bit well, quick, wasn't well, it? We're going to give you this. We're going to give you that for saying thank you. Just say thank you. And the winner, who is the winner? Yeah. Who? Chris won 220 bungalow points. If you've got an idea for a game, you want to be the bungalow boffin like Jay here, you can be. Send us your letter in. Tell us about your game. Do the bungalow boffin. Dick and Dom the bungalow. P.O. Box. Poo Box. Thank you. 38894. Yeah, Thank you. London W1268A. And we will play it. Beautiful, rapid movement. Eh? Yeah. I bet you mm -hmm. the my snail, yeah. the blue one, blue one, will be your snail, huh? the red one, red one, in a race. Yeah. However, if your snail, red one, yeah. if the red one, yeah. beats mine, the blue one, the blue one, yeah. then I'll give you three tasty. Scrumdiddlyumptious custard creams. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Steady? Ooh. Who's it from? From Graham. Graham. My granny loves Dick, and she would like to invite him over for biscuits. You gonna go around oh, to Graham's granny's? That'd be lovely. Why, me, me and Why not? Me and Graham's granny for biscuits. What's granny, granny music. <laughs> it's like granny music, is it? All right, okay. Well, tell you what, we'll send you and your granny one of them. I don't quite know what your granny will do with it, but enjoy it. Bungalow BBC.co.uk, 62222 DD, and your message. Let's have a look at the bungalow, bungalow scores. They're all ready. They've all got a slap already. Space bits. You've Space been playing bits. it all morning. What are you going to play us this time? Another melody. Oh, it's a lovely melody. And there we are. Apple Garden 81. Leah with 78. Chris with 341. Emily with 131. Gemma with 351. Charlie with 267. Gemma still in the lead. One Gemma. Come on, everybody else. There's Eight. only five weeks after today of Dick and Dom in the bungalow left ever. I know. And, and, and to celebrate this, we've been counting down our top ten favourite games ever. Oh, and yes. they really are by us, aren't they? It's number six. Oh. We broke the world records, took hair on our faces and plated our trousers and run some baby races. We made Dick sick, sweated like a maniac, snugged up grannies, grown up and young. young. We probably through the archives and racked our brains. So here are Dick and Dom's favourite games. Number six. Harry, Harry, Pez, I've got the name of the game. Insulate your head if it's cold around your brain. Once your face is nice and hairy, it will be a big relief. And as a grand finale, add a set of goofy teeth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oi, you're right there, Charlie. <laughs> 
Come on, look at him. Did he enjoy himself? Come on, Charlie. Just a little snug. Oh, I see what you mean. Snug. Snug. 300 points. 300 points for the winner of this game. Here are the rules. Getting slightly choked off, actually, when we do this section of the show. Makes it all quite real, doesn't it? Right then. There's some buckets here. And. Sorry. I don't want it to end. Do you want it to end? Five weeks, and then what are we going to do? Right, anyway, so we've got the buckets. <laughs> so what you do, you smear some of the dirty Norris all over your baldy heads, uh, and then you get the hair and you stick it to, to your head and face as well, or your face as well, and then get, finish it off with a set of goofy teeth. And, uh, the, and yeah, three points point. to the person that looks the best. Uh, right, and the hair today, the, the hair today long, long. was donated long. by Cameron Diaz. Tell me Thank you very much, Cameron. About me. Hair, hair, hair today gone tomorrow. She still looks all right with it baldy, doesn't Look she? she does. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, your time starts now. Go! Go on, smear it on your face and your head. Faces and heads, then the hair, and then the goofy teeth. And then you go to well with a set of goofy teeth. And then you finish it all off with a set of goofy teeth. What other games have we got in the top ten favourite games coming up for their delectation and delight? I know we're talking about it. I know we've got Make Dick Sick at some point. Yeah, we are looking forward to that. Four of them as well. I don't know what the other four are, but we'll find out in the next four weeks. Ah, no, yeah, make me say, I think that's our favourite game Nearly ever. Nearly all over. We'll be looking forward to that in about uh, four weeks' time. More chocolate to stick more hair. Come on, there we are. It's fairly hairy, hairy, hairy. And then what are we going to do? It's fairly hairy fizzle. Hey? Eh? We played this game many months then ago. what? On the Canum and the Bungalow. I think it was... We're going to get uh, squatties in here. In the middle, when we were still on BBC One, we played this game. Right at the beginning of the show. Mind said. you. It was a really oh, good game. Look at that dirty Norris. What do you look like? You love playing this game because there's so much chocolate with it everywhere. And what you have to do at the end of the game is put the goofy teeth in your mouth. When you get 300 points, time to um, teeth, 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 teeth in, put your teeth in, teeth in, teeth in, teeth in, teeth in. <laughs> you start, okay. I'll follow. We'll start off over here. <laughs> I can't tell who you are. <laughs> What's your name? Yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> in Radio. There she is, it's not bad. She, you're fairly hairy. Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> She's there, somewhere. That was a good effort. <laughs> nice and hairy. <laughs> uh, Emily! What? Uh, yeah. Did, did, did you, uh, what, did, what do you think about your uh, effort? I don't know. You don't know? She's, just, she's only just got a hairy slap. Yeah, That's all. a bit of a hairy... Uh, <laughs> just hairy. Charles! <laughs> <laughs> all is well? Well, it was a good game, but I think the second half we slipped a little. <laughs> 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 Hello, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hairy spaceman. Thank you. Amber! <laughs> <laughs> She's just piled it all up, isn't she? You've had a bouffant. A bouffant of hairy, it's hairy, like hairy. Hive. <laughs> She's had a. Uh, well, it looks like she's had a pat on the hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Are we oh doing dear. this for our own amusement? Oh, oh no, of course we're not. We're doing it for you! <laughs> right, who's the winner? Who's the winner, Dom? I think it's got to be, Pat. um... Yes, Pat. It's got to be Pat. 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 Oh, Pat. 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 Amber, you've just got yourself 300 bungalow points. How about that, then? So there we go. They are, lovely. Puts you in the lead. I think, oh, oh it's um, all gone. Oh, well, Patness. <laughs> no, no, it's, um... Pat. <laughs> That's Hold on! Raven! Raven! Raven Newsreader's here! He's got some important info for you! It'll Raven. be gone soon Raven as well! Raven. <laughs> Morning! Raymond Newsreader here, out for a drive with me dad, bringing you news of what's been happening on Zombie Hotel this morning. You may remember earlier, we left our little heroes about to start making their horror film for their school project. Whilst you're watching the next instalment, look out for the bungalow boffin, secret word, text or email in, and a signed T-shirt could be yours. Daddy, Raymond need wee-wee. You got a nerve. Please, Daddy. Look, tell you what I'll do. We'll turn off at Junction 23. There's a tip-top service station there, and you can hold it in till then. Thank you, Daddy. I love you, Dad. And I love you too, son. Dad! 
Is your name Holly Wharton? Holly, Holly. Squatland. Motherwell. Well, you saw the secret word. It's beak. Blue. Get the T-shirt. 99 Don't... red balloons. You ain't signed it, man. Sign the T-shirt for her. 99 red balloons. Good bit of TV, that. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Are you ready for the next game? Yeah. What? Yeah. Other what? Emily, what? Tonight. What did you... What was the question you asked? Other what? Other... Other... Other what? Other babies cute. Other babies cute. Yeah. Well, let's find out. <laughs> baby race. We got the cutest little baby race. Who'll be the winner of this happy sloppy nappy chase? You'll see them grow on their top. They got a rash on their bum. It's the bungalow baby race. Oh my God, baby race is back on your TV. Quiet, please. Quiet, 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 quiet. Please, quiet, quiet. We've got somebody here to tell us what the babies are dressed as this morning. Well. Being in a bungalow is very much like making lovely cakes for women. What and the we... babies, what? What are they dressed as? Sorry, Charlie, this is so <laughs> poor. <I'm> so... <laughs> this is like taking something you've, you've created so wonderfully and so funny, and I've just, I've just ruined the whole. This is, lot. this is one of Charlie's characters, everybody. Yes, and uh, Dom's ruined it all. Sorry, it's Swiss it's toast. Swiss... No, no, it, it was really very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here come the runners and riders. Six to one odds on, two to one nappy on. This is Lisa Natasha and Baby Chase, all flimsy plimsolls. Oh, no. uh, yeah. Little That's smile there. Here's baby number two, ten to one outsider, fueled by biscuits and blanket fluff. Preacher and Daniel with Baby Kiera or Captain Platt. There he is, Captain Platt. A very good rider there. Number three. Number three, Mummy Sally, Daddy Nigel with Baby Daisy or Godwin's Gopher, as Daisy Yay. likes to be known. Snotty nose, a little bit of oh, wow. smiling there. A lovely baby. Uh, here's runner number four. It's Jamie and Stephen with baby Joshua or Nasdaq's small change, as he likes to be known. And being terrified there by Dominic Wood. That's not going to help anything. Here comes uh, runner and uh, rider number five. There's Joe and uh, Ivan with baby Dylan or uh, the White House Wobbler. And baby Dylan had to be withdrawn at Goodwood after a puppy woo slip up. Hello. And uh, here's the sixth rider and runner riders, Rachel and Nika with uh, baby Kia, Kia Armour. And uh, the favourite, 72, 24, half past eight, bedtime. Lovely baby there. What a superb lineup for this morning's baby race. There we are, right, the babies are here, but Bungleheads, which baby are you going to back? Which baby will win the race? Back your baby now. Is it going to be Chase or Kiera or Daisy or Joshua, Dylan or Kia Armour? Put your name on the baby you think is going to win the race. Are you all done? Are you all dusted? You what do you mean they won't stick? Because you push harder. There you are. Brilliant. Marvellous. Right, they've done that. OK. The chorus. The chorus. Will you please put your babies onto the start line? There they are. The babies are ready. They're all dodgy used car salesmen this morning. They're ready to race. Chase and Kiera have been backed mostly by the Bunglerheads. Bunglerheads, if you win this, you will get 200 Bunglerhead points. It's all to play for. Are ready? Steady? Go! Well, here we go. The riders off to a lovely start here. I did fail to tell you that in lane six, Kiyama is known as C3PO's yoga class. And these babies really are slow to start this morning. But as you can see, there's, uh, I think, in lane three there, uh, Baby Daisy, Godwin's gopher. Oh, quiet, quiet, here quiet. she goes, and very slow here. But I don't know whether this race is going to get started. They're not going anywhere, but Go hey, on! this is great fun, isn't it? Uh, so here we go. Uh, there's a rank outsider there, of course, the White House Wobbler. First time out, but loving the bright colours and movement. And I think we've got to move here. Yes, there's the White House Wobbler going the wrong way. And uh, there, the White House Wobbler has returned back over the over the start line. Of course. A bit of quiet now, judges. And it looks like... Flimsy Plimsolls. No, there we go. Here we go again. So, it's C-3PO's yoga class versus Flimsy Plimsolls. And Flimsy Plimsolls is just ahead of C-3PO's yoga class. And the other runners and riders aren't doing anything. What an extraordinary race. We've never seen this before in the baby race. It's a two-baby race. And there we can see 
C3PO's yoga class is hesitant, but she can see the milk. And they're in lane three, there's a late starter, Godwin Scofer. There's Godwin Scofer coming up in the inside track. Can you believe it? Godwin Scofer has taken over C3PO's yoga class and Flimsy Blimsoles. Godwin Scofer is going right towards the end of the line. A very confident rider, and what a beautiful way. Triumphant in air last weekend. Could Godwin Scofer steal it here now? in the baby race. Beautiful, there goes Scott Winscoper up to the line. Is he going to cross the line? We don't know this time. There goes Scott Winscoper, takes it to the last line. There's the winning baby. The winning baby this morning was Joshua. There's your little you present, Joshua. You, you can cheated. take that home. Wait a minute, Emily, Emily, Emily. I saw, I saw you. Music off, please. Music off. Silence. Emily, be honest. We can watch it back and check. Did you cheat and put your name next to Joshua when you saw he was winning? Charlie No, no, don't let me turn it off. <laughs> Did you move your name to there when you saw Joshua winning? No. Well, we'll watch it back. So but in the meantime, we'll, we'll believe, believe you for you. now. 200 bungalow points to Emily. There you are. Well done, Joshua. Thank you very much, baby. It was Thank lovely you. to see you all. We had an intruder on the uh, on the old racetrack this morning, didn't poo. we? There's poo on There's the pitch. Poo on the racetrack. Poo on the pitch. Clean it off, somebody. Come on. Give it a give it a move. Let's leave the poo there and get on with the show. Scores all morning. Let's go. We're still still your bit. You've been doing your bit all morning, Dom. Let's see what you can play this time for. Still us. arguing. You play anything? No, you're doing the backwards one again. Oh, he's doing it with his bottom. There we are. Very well, beautifully played. Uh, Amber's got 481. Leah with 78. Chris with 341. Emily with 331. Gemma with 351. And Charlie with 267. In the lead now is Amber with 481. We've got a new leader. So at the moment, she's going to be winning the prizes. Still all to play for because there's over half an hour left. Do you know what? Because we've only got five weeks left, that means there's only five more any minis. You're in the lead at the moment. Can I catch you up? Let's find out. Here we are in Basingstoke. What? Ready to play any mini macaraca, rare eye dominaca, skip up a dick up on pom stick. What? We've got a stick, stickers of increasing size to people's backs without them noticing. And if we get caught, we lose. What? Let's play, dear. You join us in Basingstoke then, nicknamed Donut City. Nothing to do with the inhabitants, uh, down to the fact it has a large number of rounder boards. Uh, McCourt stalking his first lay. There it is. Nice. Hattie. <laughs> a sticky Hattie. Hattie Jackie. Wood going in for Leon Lee by the looks of things. Yeah, ships that on beautifully. What you'd expect from this seasoned professional. How very naughty of us. <laughs> Half attack. Is everybody ready? You're gonna make your shot. Such a lovely word. It's hat attack. McCourt in very buoyant mood. <laughs> for a lay on lay on lay. I've noticed you got puppies on your on your coat. Yeah. Are you a big fan of dogs? Any sort of animal. Any fan. Can I have a look at the, the back? Can I have a look at the Oh they go everywhere. Well, You've got a little kind of doggy there? chat leads to a doggy lay. <laughs> well, lovely to meet you. And you. Thank you, thank you very much. Very lovely. Very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> woof, woof, says Wood. No, McCourt, upping the ante. Says fave in hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, using... The tease and drizzle. And that's a very comfortable lay from a court. Wood. Straight back with another lay on lay. My word, these boys are really fired up for it today. Hello, ladies. Now, watch this. We've got a, a bungalow and it needs letting out because in March, well, we've renovated we're it. not in it anymore. Right. So it needs renovating. Do you reckon we can. Uh, but it, yes, someone would rent it. What would you get for a two-bedroom two bungalow? Lay played. Yes. Overpriced, 
Yeah, that's not bad. It can, would, come, good. Yes, he can. With a big lay for that young lady. All right. See you later. <laughs> Off she toddles. Sit, sit yourselves down and keep warm. You're for a Chinese meal, are you? Oh. And what kind of Chinese food do you like? Look at that. Look at that. What are you going to be having today? Prawns. Good pancakes. Prawn balls. Never mind the prawn balls. Look at the size of McCourt's lay. Wood has to play big. It's die. What's die? And it is. It's massive! Well, both of these players now in danger of a rumbling. Will they get away with it? No, they won't! And it's Word, Word is rumbled! Oh, on, finally! So McCourt takes his first game of the season. You didn't see it! He got caught! I've won! Thank you very much! McCourt won, Word 4. Interrogation. If I didn't I spot your secret words in the interview, I'll have to drop the charges, give you points, and then you'd get away. <sighs> Wrong side. You go over there. Right there. All right. Yes, I'm fine. Did you enjoy that? Yes, yes. In my lovely blue car. Yes, it was very nice. <laughs> right. It's an interrogation game. Harry Bat's out of the room, right? While he's out of the room, I'm going to show you a secret word. Now he's going to come in and interrogate you. Every time you say this word, you get 20 bungalow points in the bank. All right. At the end of the game, if he guesses what the word is, you get diddly squit. OK. If he doesn't guess what the word is, you get all the points in the bank. Like the sound of that? I do. Good. I want those points. Here's your word. <laughs> See it? Right, play it. Play it well. Points to be had. Let's go. Here he comes. The light's quite low, isn't it? <laughs> it is a bit. <laughs> Can't see now. <laughs> have to get an electrician in. Look at that. It's race. <laughs> like a sunbed. <sighs> All right. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm shot. I mean, that much. <laughs> Great. That market. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> right, this interview starts now, Mr. Hickson. You've uh, done a bit of market trading in your time, haven't you? Uh, no. no <laughs> it's not what we've heard. Well, I've, I, I've, I've done. I like your blue shirt, by the way. It's not blue. It's grey. Oh. For the benefit of the tape, I'm now showing the suspect exhibit A a Chelsea bun. Right. Um, Knocked out on your stall, I believe. No, 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 no. That's what I, when I was having breakfast, I was eating a bun um, out of my blue bowl and the blue phone rang. Not the red phone, the blue phone. Not the blue phone. No, the blue phone. Uh, and uh, this was the bun I was having at breakfast. What and I this? took it to, the, to, the, to my store where I was selling a number of blue items. A number of blue items? Yes. And, not um, red items? No, no, no. And I got a phone call and the person on the phone said, whatever you do, keep selling those blue items like you had for your breakfast out of your blue bowl. When the person on the other phone rang, not the red phone, the blue phone. You remember that phone? He's good. He's very good. 
What else can you tell me about the colour blue? I know nothing about the colour blue. What about the, the blue phone red? didn't ever What about ring. items? It wasn't the red phone, it was the blue phone. What about breakfast? What about breakfast? What about it? I didn't have breakfast. Well, there's a Chelsea bun there if you want it. Well, you can phone my solicitor and find out. What are you solicitor son? There, what's wrong with you, man? Come on, wake up. Well, I would. Uh, I, I called him this morning on the phone, and he came down in his blue, in his blue, blue shirt. In his bleeny shirt. <laughs> what's a bleeny shirt? <laughs> I said time's up. Shirt. Time's oh. up. Stop. 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 Okay then, Harry. Charge him or release him. What is the word? It's too obvious. It's too obvious. It's a double bluff. But I've got to deal with blue. Oh, you're wrong, man. You are wrong. It was. When, ha, when ha, did he say that? I never heard you mention the word fern. <laughs> 300 points! 300 no, points! 300. Yes. Right, get hold of my neck. That's Best score we've ever had on the interrogation game, there, Charlie. Well played indeed, sir. Oh, well, you're not coming. Yeah, go on then. Oh, I've got a TV card for the body yeah, shop. Go on, now, well. Look at him play that, eh? I'll tell you what. That car's not been messed up like yeah. that. Hey! Let's Interrogation game, 300 bungalow points. That's not bad at all, is it? You cannot complain about that. Right, then, we've got all the pants oh. here on the floor. And the person in the last place at the moment is Leah. Come on over here, Leah. And stand uh, there. Because <laughs> we, uh, we, we we lost where the Where the podium normally is, the dog ate yes, it. Yes, the dog ate it. Put the pants on your head and do the pants dance. I got my head in my pants. <laughs> I got a groovy disco trash. <laughs> 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 Quite enough for that. Time, go for it. What? Good panty dancing. Good panty action. Quite. Hey, there's a couple of pictures down there. Now look, one of these deserves a gold medal. Is it this Turn one? one Amelia, who's six, doing the pants from Tyne and Weir. Ta, Amelia. Check this out. This is what you would call. Genius. Keep boogieing. Brilliant. Keep boogieing. Really, no. Really, is genius. Better than space cadets. All right. Have a look at this. <laughs> look at that. That's absolutely brilliant. We've never had that before. With him, but look at the way he's saluting. Yeah! Well done, this is from Brad from Morecambe. Got a good chip, fish and chips up there. Oh. On the, on the uh, pier, anyway. Yes! On the front. So, <laughs> there you oh. are. If you've got one you want to send us, you can do. You've got a bungalow t shirt showing your picture. Fans dance. Stick a number to bungalow. Who box? You've only got five number. weeks left, so hurry up and get them yeah. taken and get them in. Get it from first class. W12668. Score check? Yes, let's see how all these fine fellows. Why not? Leah was losing. Let's see if she's still losing. Let's see who's in the lead, let's see who's in the middle, let's see who's on the bottom. Amber with 481, Leah with yeah. Christopher 341. There's more, and there's then, more. Oh, look at this, I've got a feeling that Charlie could be winning, but Emily's got 331. Charlie's in the lead, wins 5, 6, 7, which means that one of you guys at home, you could be winning all the prizes. Because Charlie will literally give you lot this Let, lot. Yes, let's have a look at it. Oh, oh well, that's third that prize. That's, that's the cheap game. It's, 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 it's only 37p. <laughs> Second prize is good. It's the stereo with CDs. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And the first prize, Charlie could be giving it you at the moment because he's leaving 567 points. It's all that. This week's Royal Bungalow Head takes home a games console, an urban dance game, a dance mat, a karaoke headset, and an incredible LCD TV to mount on their wall. It's the biggest dancing, prancing, singing, swinging, playing gaming experience you'll have this side of 2011. And yes, that is Judy Dench. <laughs> <laughs> why, why have we got Judy Dench there? Oh, I am going to click. Just but yes, she, she's that's, a good that's all to win. All to, but it could all change. I mean, yeah, it's a phone. Bulls muck. Phone. Is it me? Yes, it's you. Oh. All right. All right. I'll do it. I'll do it. Coming. I'm coming. All right. Wait there. Hello. Good morning. Who's there? It's Big Old Bites Kid. Hang on. The phone rang. I picked yeah. it up. Yeah, asked who it was. They said, "It's the Almighty King." Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Oh, shush, shush. That's fair enough. No, no, not the music. Not the music. What do they want? You go and find out. Oh. oh. 
Go eat it when I. Oh. <laughs> Weird. What do you want? Hello? Hello? Oh, all right. What do you Daniel. What? Daniel. What? Daniel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what, do you, what, do you, what do you want? Enter co the competition. No, but did you, did you want to give points or take points any away from anyone? I didn't make sense. But you, I've already you know. done it. You what? Um, What's he talking about? I, I, I do you 127. You were, uh, who to? Chris. Why? Because he's so funny and he's great. <laughs> Listen to this. Echo. 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 Thanks, almighty kid. <laughs> Very, Very funny. Funny. <laughs> Chris. What? what? Chris, what? He wanted to give you 127 bungler points. Why? Yeah. He thinks you're very funny. Ah, Chris has got 127 bungler points for being funny. How about that? Nice one. Well played, sir. Well played. Lovely, lovely. Now, we've been showing classic bogeys over the last few weeks. Which one is it today? The Larry. Do you remember we went to Manchester? Oh, yeah. We went to the Larry exhibition. This yes. was years ago. Shorter hair, thinner faces, <laughs> thinner bodies, younger hair. No bags, no bags, no go bags. No go bags. No bags. No bags. We actually look quite good looking. And here it is. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Lowry in Manchester to go to their art gallery to play another round of bogey. Yes, bogeys are the game that's sweeping across the whole nation, and we're going to take it in turns to say the word bogeys, getting louder and louder until one of us bottles out or the other one beats the other one in volume. To test who's shouting bogeys the loudest, we have the bogey on the in the corner of your television set. It's as usual. So, without any further ado, let's play. Bogies! So here we are at a gallery dedicated to the works of Ellis Lowry. Bogies. And Mr. Wood kicks us off with a standard 0.6. On the bogeyometer. Mr. McCourt to reply. Ellis Lowry, of course, painted matchstick men and matchstick cats and dogs, and we're gathered for a sticky match of bogeys. McCourt taking his time. Bogeys! It's there, it's a 1.3. Lady there wiping away a bogey in appreciation. Back to wood. Bogies! It's a nice one. Yes, it's a 2.4. A comfortable margin. Understated, but comfortable. McCourt. Bogies! They're not pushing the envelope this morning. 3.6. It's enough to keep him in the game. One feels they're playing a little cat and mouse with one another in this gallery. Wood. Nearly. Bogey! Fine bogey. 4.7. People surprised that he was able to come up with that under the circumstances. But it was there. Every bit of their training comes into play. Bogey! Well, a looping bogey there from McCourt, 5.2 on the snotometer. Surprise tactic bogey. at this stage. Ah, you see, he's coming back with a 6.3, an elongated bogey. But remember, it's not the length of the bogey, but the volume that counts. Having a spot of bother with another bogey. All to play for. Lady there pretending to be interested in the pictures. Wood with the upper hand at this stage, though. McCourt, surrounded by industrial landscapes, has it all to do. 
tension. Sweat. Spasm. Trickling. A lady takes a seat in anticipation that a climax might be just round the corner as McCourt tries to pick his moment. Heaving. Gas playing some part in this. Moisture. Yes. He's taking his time. Tragic, in fact, to see this happening to, uh, to McCourt, one of the world's finest bogey athletes. He doesn't seem to be able to let go of the bogey. A problem that may have to be looked at by a doctor. No, he's given up. He's walking out. He's given it up. Wood wins with a 6.3. There it is again, an operatic bogey, putting Wood back in the game. Wet cast plot of initial plab, cheers, jewels, caracama, fluish, fluish, canapé, bull's luck. It's a bull's luck, and here's your horse, Jim Mucking. Oh, lovely, super smashing, great, hey, fantastic, lovely to be here, lovely to be here again. With Bulls Muck with me, your host Jim Muckin. Uh, a host that some people have said sets game shows about 30 years. Charming, isn't it? <laughs> Flaming it. Here's, here's a lovely story for you getting in the car this morning. Young fella says to me, he says, Can you give me a lift? I says, Well, you look great. The world's your oyster. Go for it. <laughs> hey, here's another bit of fun for you. It's my old mate and scorer, Tony Green. Tony, how are you? Hello. Hello, lovely, Jim. super it's lovely oh, to be here. Yeah. Has the trumping stopped? <laughs> Just about. Lovely. <laughs> did you hear it? I did, yeah. <laughs> lovely, super smashing great. OK, so of course it's uh, the usual scenario. We've got the prize winners with the prize losers. So uh, let's have a look at what they're playing for. In third. Chris could be the talk of his or her street with his cheapskate. In second. Humber can have music to her ears with his portable stereo and 10 chart CDs. <laughs> and Mucky's special prize! Charlie can play, sing and watch to his heart's content with his games console, games, dance mat, karaoke mic and LCD TV. Lovely, super smashing great, absolutely fantastic. So, uh, of course, they're the prizes, they're the teams. So, hey, let's have a look at the two lovely lads who are going to be throwing for these teams tonight. Dick and Dom, come down here. Hey, come and join me. Hey, come here, lads. Hey, lovely couple of lads, aren't you? Uh, hey, hey. Right, so, uh, yeah, OK, yeah. you're going to be throwing for the teams tonight. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah. So, OK, yeah. Rich, you're playing for the prize winners. Prize winners, I. So, yeah. if you want to go first... My name's Dick. Take up to the... Sorry, Dick. It's all right. I'm no good with names. I'm no good with sight, either. I can't see anything. <laughs> Right, OK, so if you take to the hockey, and uh, we'll get this underway. OK, so lovely. So, Charlie. Charlie, sir, what we'd like from you, pick a category. <coughs> sport. Sport. OK, Dick, you're looking for sport. What do you OK, say? Dick, sport. <laughs> well, that's the javelin. <laughs> well... Nothing in I'm, this. I'm sorry about... Oh, Dick. It's a terrible <laughs> throw. I'm sorry about that. I can't even ask you a question, Charlie, because it's not even hit the board. OK, er... Uh, yeah. Right, Amber, Amber, my darling, pick a subject. Spelling. Spelling. OK, Dom, we're looking for spelling. Yeah, OK, yeah. spelling. Okay. Looking for spelling. <laughs> well, it's, um, Well... ..in music, it's, in, it's a little bit... It's, uh, it's in music, so... TV. So, for five points, <laughs> I can ask... Five points only, I can ask you a question on music. How many members are there currently in Westlife? For the prize losers. Oh, for the prize losers, sorry. Yeah, it's Dom, yes. Dom's so it's, uh, it's Gemma, isn't it? 
Gemma, sorry, love, I can't see. Four. How no, many, four. How many, my darling? Four. four. Four's the right answer. You've got five points on the board. Well, Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Dick, take to the hockey. OK, just a bit lower on this one, Dick. Just okay. take your time. Where nice are we going? Easy, OK. Uh, OK, who is it? It's uh, Amber. Pick a category. Oh, sorry, darling, I got that wrong because I can't <laughs> see. OK, go and pick another one. Do you want to spell in again, Doug? No. Um, yeah, spelling. OK, spelling. spelling we're looking for. OK, you? come on, let's have it. Oh! <laughs> that was nearly a bullseye. <laughs> did, did, did you get it, Tony? <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. Amber, sorry, oh, can't ask you a question. OK, Dom. Right, uh, Emily. Um. Choose a category, my darling. Faces. Faces, we're looking okay. for faces, Dom. And don't hit mine. Looking for faces. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, well, it's not in places, it's in places. Oh, and this is the okay. place, is it's, it? It's an easy mistake to make. Faces and places, they sound much the same. Uh, OK. Five points only for places. What is the capital of Spain? Emily, Gerald, Leon. This is Emily. Got to hurry, my darling. Get in there, bully. Well, I'm afraid the answer was Madrid. So, uh, also, uh, <laughs> you get a bit of that. OK. Right, prize winners. OK, Chris, your turn. Pick a category, sir. Spelling. Spelling. Dick, we're looking for spelling. Come on. OK, Come this on! is the third time. Whoa! Oh, well, it's, it's in it's, music. It's landed in music. That's already gone. I can't ask you a question. So, so Leah, choose a category. TV. You what, my darling? TV. What? TV! TV, speak up. I'm going deaf as well as blind up. Right, go on. Oh, TV we're looking for. Ah, yeah! Yes, that's the one. Ah. For 20 points, Tony. 20, that... anything. OK, my darling. Right, here we go. Where, where do the characters... Oh. oh, I can't see a thing. Where do the characters featured in the soap EastEnders live? Wolford Square. Oh, whoa. Albert Square. I'll, I'll take that, Wolford Square. We'll give you that. We'll give you that. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's the end of that round, isn't it? So, uh, so what, what are the scores standing at at the end of that round? So it's zero to the prize winners, prize losers. 25, hey. Yeah. Oh, well so, come round here, my darlings. Come round here. Quick, 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 quick. quick. Come round here, look, that way! <laughs> Camera's there, television studio, right, OK. You've got to risk, if you want to, you've got to risk, you've got to score 101 or more on a conventional dartboard with two throws each. Do you want to risk that and risk losing your prizes? But if you do get 101 or more, you will win also a TV DVD combi each. Each. But it's only first and second that can decide this at the moment. You've got the time it takes me to revolve. Audience, what do you think we should do? Gamble! 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 OK, what do you want to do? Gamble! OK, they're going to risk it. Come on. OK. So, Leah, you to go first. Take that. Oh, there's the ball. Away you go, quick okay. as you can. You know the challenge, come on. Well, that's... Nothing out the board. Well, yes, Jim. <laughs> Next, go on, two throws each. Come on, quick as you can. Well, that's OK. That's 19 and 17. <laughs> 19 and 17, Tony. Oh, that's that. Well, that's, that's 20. Yeah. Another 20, so that's 15, 59 altogether. Whoa! Yes, another 20, that's 79. Oh! Well, that was won. the risk. You haven't won. You didn't do it. So all the prizes go to the prize winners. Yeah! Oh, hey, OK, there's only one thing to say now, isn't there, Tony? Yes. Go, go, go!
TV's real soon. Isn't that great? Super great. Super smashing great. Super smashing great. Come on, let's have a look. See first, second, third. Third place at the moment. It's Christopher. Christopher's got third prize. Christopher, come here. Chris, come here. Well, then you get a cheap skate. Second is Amber. Second, well done. Amber, you get that. And the winner of Dick and Up Bungalow is Charlie Hinson. Charlie, come Well done, sir. Thank with a dance mat as well, enjoy it! I right. have you enjoyed it? Yeah. You enjoyed the show, Alice? Thank you! Yeah, thank you! Right, bye. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Charlie! Thank you very much for coming in this morning! Thank you, Steve Bowen, thank you very much! Yeah, all right, then. Thank you very much. I'm giving the crown, I'm giving the crown! I don't know where it's gone, I'm just too, I'm too busy with it. Thank you to Tony as well for coming in and doing the voice oh, cheers, Tony! Thanks, Tony! Good, isn't it?